Yo, yo, man, y'all niggas pissed me the fuck off, man. Yeah, you niggas, man, fuck that intro, man. Y'all niggas got me tight. So y'all niggas mean to tell me that Reed Dollars and Cicero are going to war and none of you niggas is talking about it? What the fuck is wrong with you niggas, man? The fuck is fucking... What's wrong with you niggas, man? Reed and Cicero, bro, let me tell you niggas something, bro. You know how in, in, in New York or in Harlem they say who's the top ballots? You always hear Mook, you always hear Lux, you always hear Clips, you always hear Rex. This is the same situation as Philly. It's going to be Reed. It's going to be Sis. It's going to be Joey Jihad. It's going to be Meek. You know what I'm saying? They all came up in the same eras. It's going to be the same thing as these niggas. For Philadelphia, this is a big deal. For you niggas who don't know what's going on, let me put you niggas on and catch you niggas up to date real quick. You know what I'm saying? Y'all niggas know that Beans and Game is beefing this shit. Y'all niggas been through that shit. What do y'all niggas think about that shit? I'm going to be real with you, bro. I really think like this, like... Beans is doing a whole lot to get next to me. I think it's fucked up. That nigga got hit straight up and down. Uh, Tiffy Bay, I seen your interview. I really hope that Meek is going to get you out the hood. Or if not, I just hope you ready. You know what I'm saying? Because Beans, he already said he's not going to fucking retaliate. But let's be serious, my nigga. The same way you did that for Meek, you know niggas going to do that shit for Beans. Let's be serious. Like, this is Beans. Like, like for, this for Meek telling Beans he would drop a bag on him. Let's you know that this nigga is high off life. You are not the king of Philly just because you are fucking Nicki Minaj and you got money. That don't make you the king of Philly. You are making it so that you cannot go back to Philly. That's what the fuck the nigga's really doing. And he, I heard he got a wild team. You're making it to the point that you ain't going to be able to go back to Philly. They're not going to respect you for what the fuck just happened to Mac. But I'm going to be real with you, bro. To keep it G, it really do seem like Beans is like... The position was there. It was an opportunity for Beans to get money if Meek had did the show... And it seemed to me like like he really wanted that bread. So he was really reaching out to me, reaching out to me, reaching out to me. Meek is, is giving him to his man because he's still reaching out. He knows Meek is going to be here. Now he's sliding down there. You're doing a whole lot, Mac. Like, if the nigga's going to holler at you, the nigga's going to holler at you, bro. You're doing a whole lot. You know what I'm saying? And then once the nigga said, I don't play games, I end them, and he said Meek didn't like that, it's just like, all right. If a nigga telling me I don't play games, I end them, I'm not going to like that shit either. Let's be serious and shit. That's some slick shit to say to a nigga and shit. That's some real slick shit to say to a nigga. So I don't know. That whole situation is crazy. But for, for beings that have sided with Meek and then switch the very next night, that, what, that shit wasn't cool right there. Especially if Meek is like trying to really come back at game. That shit wasn't really cool. It fucked the whole diss song. I've been fucked this whole momentum up. Game is still stomping mud holes in this nigga and shit. And it's just like, yo, I'll be real with you, bro. Me, what the fuck you gonna do, bro? Fuck that shit, bro. I'm still mad you lost to Drake, my nigga. I'm still mad you lost to Drake. I don't know how you let this pop star ass nigga just tap dance all over you. And then this nigga Game, he's just pissing all over your grave right now. So it's just like, you tried to come back with Beans and then Beans and turned on you. So now you just looking crazy. I don't know, my nigga. Just don't beef no more on wax. Leave that shit the fuck alone, bro. It just is what it is. Just leave it alone. Your record is doing terrible when it comes to these beef waxes. Uh, waxes on beef. And you know what's whack about it? It's you from the streets. I remember your little nappy head. You look like a, a muddy ass upside down mop and shit. You bouncing in front of the cameras. Just rapping and rapping and rapping. You, you fucking... Rapping ambulances flying past you. You don't give a fuck. You ain't stopping for for a battery. You just rapping and rapping and rapping. You hopping out of caravans while you see other niggas rapping. You just doing that, just rapping, bouncing in front of the camera, rapping. So it's like, what you gonna do? You from the streets, nigga? Like I don't understand how the fuck you have this much problem. Game is nice. I can see a nigga losing the game. I ain't mad at that. But goddamn, nigga Drake. So you gotta do something, my nigga, because you you always looking fucking crazy out here. Niggas is saying Philly's looking crazy out here. You calling yourself the king of Philly. How are you the king of Philly? You just got beans knocked out. I don't understand none of this shit. Philly looking crazy. But look, we got to talk about this whole uh, 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 Reed and Sis shit. So y'all know they was going back and forth. So Reed Dollars and Quilly Mills actually got involved. They sent shots at game. All right. Now, Cicero says he ghost wrote some of them bars for a game. You know what I'm saying? I got the interview in my description box, both of them. I got the Cicero where he's calling out Reed three rounds, three minutes. Me and him started arguing back and forth a little bit there. Shout to Sis. And I got the other interview where he's breaking down him ghostwriting the bars for game. You know what I'm saying? So, um, uh, Cicero wasn't feeling that Reed Dollars came at game. He felt that Reed did it as a, a good opportunity for himself. You know what I'm saying? Now, we got to think about something here, bro. Cicero and Reed was supposed to be doing two on twos. You know what I'm saying? Like, Cicero said it mad times and shit. You see these niggas, they looking mad like they chilling and shit. So, when he took the shots at Reed, niggas looking at Cicero like, yo, what the fuck are you doing, nigga? Like, you were just... Put me chilling with us and shit. You know what I'm saying? What the fuck going on and shit? So now, Sis threw some light shots at Reed. It wasn't nothing crazy. He threw light shots. He, Sis all actually threw shots at Game, at Meek, at Reed, at Sis. He was just venting, it really seemed like. And it came out as disses. 
We bombed on Cicero. We bombed on Cicero. Like, he bombed on this nigga. Like, he been wanting to get this shit off his chest for mad fucking long. He went in on Cicero. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, yo. Uh, I got the little Frank interview. Frank with the grippers going. Shout out to my gorilla. You know what I'm saying? I fucked the nigga heavy. And you know, that that's Reed Dodge's right hand man right there. And, and he's keeping it a stack in this interview about how he feel about it. He feel like that nigga Cisco was a fake ass nigga. He said he was like, he was just being mad cool with Reed. And the first chance he get, he taking shots at him. Now he want to battle him. He want to do all this goofy two on two shit. But, and deep down, he, he the, the nigga was like, Cisco's fucked up in the game. He broke out here and ain't got no deal. He was like... Cicero ain't doing nothing with him. Shit is crazy, bro. You got to hear the interview. I got that. I got... I brought NH out of retirement. I got NH and Kaboom together in an interview. They giving their thoughts on this whole Cicero situation with Reed. They don't know why everybody's getting involved. And it's just like, yo, what's going down? Reed, Dollars, and Cicero. Three rounds, three minutes. Me, personally, I want to see this shit on Crack Liberty Bell Battle League. You know what I'm saying? Uh, shout out to Zim. That's where they had the motherfucking... Uh, uh, Bill Collector versus Cicero and 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 and, and motherfucking uh, Cortez versus E. Ness and, and and that's where all them battles took place at. You know what I'm saying? Avocado does the shooting. It's in Philly. I don't think it's gonna be a crazy good look on URL. I don't think them niggas is really that high on URL's radar to be real shooting anyway. Um, I seen uh, uh them saying would it be called the bunker? I wouldn't mind because it's most it's a closed setting. But at the same time, like, Philly has their own language. I think this belongs in Philadelphia. It means that much to Philadelphia. This battle probably should have happened years ago, to be real true. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, let me know what y'all think. Who y'all think gonna win this battle and shit? Because it's definitely gonna go down. Listen to the interviews in my description box. It's not making mad, mad, mad noise. I should have blogged this shit. I wasn't even thinking. But reading Cicero is a big fucking deal. Let me know who you niggas got. You know what I'm saying? In my description box, I got fucking Strick versus Link. Shout out to LA Battlegrounds. Y'all niggas check this shit out. Fire ass battle. Strick has got to be one of the best top niggas, uh, uh, top up and coming niggas right now. He ain't hit no main stage. He don't got no crazy wild buzz. His battle versus B Dot went viral, but everyone was talking about B Dot. Mad niggas got Strick beating B Dot. Watch the B Dot battle versus Strick. Watch this battle right, right here versus Link. And let me know what y'all think about Strick. Strick is fucking fire, in my opinion. He's fire. Check this nigga out. Also, I got. Edness versus Gems, shouts no mercy in the trap, you know what I'm saying? Edness really wasn't that good, but I'm more, really more focusing on Gems from now on right now. Like, Gems, he's trying to step his pen up. He's getting his personality out there. He has some funny-ass blogs, little filthy-ass Mexican and shit. He's blogging. He's doing Facebook Lives. He's joking on niggas. And what do y'all think about Gems? I think he's getting better. I'm going to be real with you. I really do think he's getting better, and I think he's putting in work. Social media, including myself, has destroyed this nigga in the past and shit, and the nigga's still here. But I'll be real with you. If I didn't bark on this nigga Gems, I don't think he would be pushing this pen away yet. I want to see, yo, check out this idea. Let me know what y'all think. In the Kaboom and Inez interview, Kaboom said there should be an event where niggas just come with three rounds. Let's like back in the day. You don't know who your opponent is. You just got three to four rounds cocked and loaded for whoever is going to stand in front of you. And they just judge the battles like that. Let me know what y'all think. I want to I want to see Jim do some shit like that. That's the only way I'll really know where his pen is at. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't want to see no personal. I want to see him battle show off. I want to see him battle someone who's fucking hungry. Hey, yo, hold up, bro. We had a fucking show, right? We had a show. Do y'all niggas think Jazz and motherfucking C3 can beat Cyborg? I need to know that shit because mad niggas are telling me yes. Like, let me know. Like, I thought Cyborg would clearly beat Jazz and C3. I didn't even know that. Niggas thought otherwise. Please let me know what y'all think about this shit. A from the fuck up. Read and sis. Let me know what's up. Got another blog coming. I'm out.